Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about anatomy and physiology of cardiovascular system. So hereby I have uh, created a playlist for all the anatomy system. I will give the eye card here so that you can go through all the um, systems if you are preparing for your medical coding interview. So in when you are going for a medical coding interview, they will be asking you to talk about a system or they will give you an option or else you can choose any one system and you can talk about it. So when we are talking about the system, you have to talk about the system for nearly two minutes. For covering all these two minutes, you have to have at least 60 points, 60 points, so that it will clearly define um, the major points or important points about that system so cardiovascular system when you are starting with it you have to start with the functions of the heart so the functions of the heart here i have given nearly four function that is first one is managing blood supply second one is producing blood pressure third one is secure one way blood flow and fourth one is transmitting blood either you can stop with the points or else you can elaborate those points also when coming to managing blood supply the variation in the rate and force of the heart contraction match blood flow to the changing metabolic needs of the tissue during the rest exercise and change in the body position producing blood pressure contraction of the heart produce blood pressure which um, is needed for blood flow through the blood vessels securing one way blood flow the valves of the heart secure a one way blood flow through the heart and blood vessels transmitting blood the heart separates the pulmonary and systemic circulation which ensures the flow of the oxygenated blood to the tissues so then second thing uh, after function you can talk about the parts of the heart the parts of the heart are uh, same like the part of the building the parts include wall chamber valves blood vessels and electrical conduction system walls chamber means it's similar like a building room and uh, valves means it's like the door opening and closing the rooms and blood vessels is like plumbing pipes that run through the building electrical conduction system is like electrical power that runs through the building now what you have to do is you have to explain each one uh, part okay so we'll be starting with the um, uh, walls when you are talking about the wall the heart walls are mainly like we have outer layer middle layer and inner layer so heart walls are the muscles that contracts and relax to send the blood throughout the body the layer of the muscular tissue called septum divides the heart walls into right and left side heart walls have three layers endocardium myocardium and epicardium endocardium is the inner layer myocardium is a middle layer epicardium is a protective outer layer epicardium is one layer of the pericardium pericardium is a protective sac that covers entire heart it produces a fluid to lubricate the heart and keep it from rubbing against other organs so this all about heart walls uh, which you can say then you have to talk about the chambers these points are more than enough okay so next coming to the chambers heart has four separate chambers two chambers on the top that is the atrium and two at the bottom that is ventricles We're talking about the right atrium there are two large veins that is uh, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava carries the blood and deposit it in the right atrium superior vena cava collected from the upper part of the body and inferior vena cava carried from the lower part of the body then from the right atrium it moves into the right ventricle the lower right chamber pumps the oxygen poor blood that is deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary artery and then in the left atrium after the lungs uh, purify the blood the pulmonary vein carry the blood to the left atrium that the upper chamber and pumps the blood to the left ventricle the left ventricle carries the oxygenated blood to different parts of the body so when we are talking about the heart valves okay heart valves are like doors between the heart chambers they open and close to allow the blood flow so we have atrioventricular valves and semilunar valves atrioventricular valves are tricuspid and mitral valve atrioventricular valve open between the upper and lower heart chambers tricuspid valve tricuspid valve is located between right atrium and right ventricle and mitral valve is uh, located between the left atrium and left ventricle 
semilunar valves are the valves opens when blood flows out of the ventricles they are aortic valve and pulmonary valve aortic valve when open um, when blood flows out of the left ventricle to the aorta and pulmonary valve open you can see the definition there next is a blood vessel blood vessels comes heart pumps blood through three types of blood vessels that is arteries veins and capillaries arteries carry oxygen rich blood from the heart to the body tissue exception is pulmonary artery which go to the lungs next is veins veins carry oxygen poor blood back to the heart next is capillaries capillaries are small blood vessels where the body exchange oxygen rich and oxygen poor blood so these are the things which you can say about the blood vessels next you have to talk about the electrical conduction uh, system so when we are uh, talking about the electrical conduction system uh, we have coronary arteries before that uh, heart receives nutrients through a network of coronary arteries these arteries run along your heart surface they serves the heart itself and include left coronary artery circumflex artery left anterior descending artery right coronary artery so left coronary artery divide into two branches that is circumflex artery and left anterior descending artery circumflex artery supplies blood to the left atrium and the side and back of the left ventricle left anterior descending artery supplies blood to the front and bottom of the left ventricle and front of the septum right coronary artery supply blood to the right atrium right ventricle bottom portion of the left ventricle and back of the septum to understand this take the proper image of the heart and just see so that you can clearly understand next comes the electrical conduction system of the heart heart's conduction system is like electrical wiring of the building it controls the rhythm and pace of the heart beat signal starts at the top of the heart and moves down to the bottom so the conduction system includes sinoatrial node that is sa node send signals that makes your heart beat atrioventricular node carries electrical signals from heart upper chamber to lower left bundle branch sends electrical impulses to the left ventricle right bundle branch sends electrical impulses to the right ventricle bundle of his send impulses from atrioventricular node to purkinje fibers purkinje fibers makes your heart ventricles contract and pump out the blood so this is all about the electrical conduction system of the heart so next to the location of the heart the human heart is located within the thoracic cavity medially between the lungs in the space known as mediastinum within the mediastinum the heart is separated from other mediastinal structures by a tough membrane known as pericardium or pericardial sac and sits its own own space called as pericardial cavity the great vessels which carry blood to and from the heart are attached to the superior surface of the heart which is called the base the inferior tip of the heart is called as apex please take uh, notes okay so that you can clearly understand uh, things and that's all about this heart and finally you have to know about the conditions and disorder here i have added few conditions that is arrhythmia and cardiomyopathy congestive heart failure coronary artery disease diabetes why diabetes here because if you have heart failure condition or anything then uh, if you are taking medications for heart related condition the patient will become diabetic for that and then heart attack uh, heart valve disease high blood pressure high cholesterol pericarditis few conditions i have added here so that you can uh, go through it and you can understand next two conditions are that's all only few conditions are added so thank you so much for watching my video if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment and don't forget to watch the playlist um, for uh, understanding other anatomy system also so thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and uh, thank you so much for watching my video take care wish you all the best for your interview take care bye bye